Know the signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. That advice from Memphis firefighters a day after a carbon monoxide scare at a local school. Good evening, I'm Katina Rankin. My co anchor Richard is off tonight. A Memphis Fire Department spokesperson said that Kate Bond Middle students did not test positive for carbon monoxide, but SES, they closed the school today for more tests. Local 24 News reporter Brad Roeder is live in the studio now to break this all down. Brad. Katina, carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless gas, and it can be deadly, claiming more than 430 American lives a year. That's why both Kate Bond Middle School parents and fire investigators were grateful school staff took that threat seriously before tests came up negative for carbon monoxide exposure. I was thankful that all our people at the middle school really, you know, kicked it in gear and did what they were supposed to do. As a parent, Shana Morales appreciated Kate Bond Middle School administrators poised under pressure Thursday afternoon. This, as a possible carbon monoxide scare, sent four sickened students to the hospital and forced the evacuation of the school's 1,100 students next door to Kate Bond Elementary. I um, saw other parents panicked and were pulling in, you know, in the side streets. First responders said testing did not confirm carbon monoxide after several students complained of carbon monoxide exposure symptoms, such as nausea and dizziness. State law in Tennessee requires carbon monoxide detectors in facilities with sleeping quarters, such as hotels. However, carbon monoxide detectors are not required in schools. Brent Perkins with the Shelby County Fire Department said because of that, those at Kate Bond Middle handled the possible carbon monoxide scare with the proper sense of urgency. A tip of the hat to the individuals who are in, in charge over there because, quite frankly, they did recognize the system or they did recognize the situation right away and they reacted appropriately. Everybody was out and, and safe. Now, as of now, crews were still trying to pinpoint what exactly made those Kate Bond Middle School students sick Thursday. A Shelby County School spokesperson said testing will continue through Saturday as an extra precaution. Reporting live in the studio, Brian Broder's Local 24 News.